Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. Today is going to be another behind the scenes. And we're going to take a look inside my magic tackle box. All right, I've got a giant tackle box and I've done a couple of reviews where I looked inside uh, my suitcase. Uh, my suitcase is open. It's always inside my closet uh, where I keep all my stuff. But the tackle box, this is closed. It's kind of on the floor. This is not something I take with me anywhere. This is purely storage. This is only storage, okay? So if you were expecting to see something that I take, you know, as an everyday carry or something I throw in my truck, that's not this. This is purely storage. What this is, is uh, tricks that I've kept that I want to keep, that I've held on to because I like them. So there's tricks that I've either performed on TikTok or uh, tricks that I'll go back to and throw into rotation. But uh, a lot of tricks, you know, I end up giving away in my contests. And so I kind of wanted to just show you, these are the tricks that I didn't give away. These are the tricks that I've either purchased myself and loved or just ones that I've held on to for just some reason. Uh, some of them I have even purchased uh, again. So uh, I got this at Walmart. I got this really at a grocery store. And it's nice because it has the little uh, clips on top. It's also got one layer uh, shelf uh, on top and then it's got the big base on the bottom. I'm gonna show you everything inside, but we'll start with the little uh, windows up here. This right here is just what it looks like. It's elastic invisible thread. So oftentimes when you buy uh, a gimmick, It'll say, hey, get out your invisible thread or go buy some elastic invisible thread. And, and then you're always like, I, I don't have any. So I always make sure I have some so that I can build gimmicks as soon as I get them. Uh, this is Keybite from Illusionist and uh, Grant Clark. And I had one of these before, gave it away in a contest, and then uh, Illusionist dropped their price on it. And I ended up picking up another one. Uh, this is a... Speaking of Keybyte, <laughs> this is a Oreo cookie that you can also do the Keybyte uh, trick with if you get my drift. So it looks like an Oreo, but it allows you to, to do Keybyte. And then following that same suit, I have coin in a bottle, which again, following just like Keybyte, these are all my, my Keybyte type tricks. You can do uh, a bite on that trick. So that is what I've got up here on this side. If I were to move to this side and show you what's over here, uh, the first thing I have is I have a very large, very powerful magnet. So if I ever need uh, a magnet, this is a good one because you can put this in a lot of places and people won't find it. Kind of have to keep it in its own quadrant because it's very attractive to things. Um, this is a billet clip holder that allows you to do out to lunch and it's called out to dinner. And so this uh, is just a billet clip holder. You can keep all your billets inside of that, but it's got a great out to lunch feature. And then in here is something that I thought I had lost a long time ago. This is Tab from Nicholas Lawrence. It is also like Keybyte and like Coinbyte, but uh, you can do it with the pull tab off of a soda can. So that is everything that's in the top windows here. So now I'm going to show you what is here. So I have two layers. I have this outside layer and then the inside layer, which is really just a catch-all. It's just full of stuff. So I kind of want to show you just what's going on in here. So here's uh, one of my very first Magic watches. And what's ended up happening with this, this is my Turner watch. Uh, the battery has died now for the second time, I believe. And so it cost me uh, like 30 bucks to replace the battery the first time. And so I've kind of moved on from the Turner watch. I still really like it and I didn't want to get rid of it, but I keep it in here. Um, this is a dollar bill. It really is. It's a dollar bill. Um, no, it's, it's a dollar bill where um, I've memorized the serial number on it. So I've memorized the serial number on this. And so um, I use it periodically. This is catch. This is the, the coin vanish that works in conjunction with your watch. So uh, this is a cool little device. 
And this is the box for ignition from Magic Smith. Um, it was it was in here. Uh, I just pulled ignition out the other day because oh, it's right here. I didn't put it back in the box. So there's ignition right here. Chris Smith, uh, Magic Smith, probably one of the best um, penetrations uh, you can do. Looks very organic. Looks exactly like a car key. Um, this is highly recommended by me. I would Rebecca, recommend this over and over again. Uh, this is a pack of red gaff cards. Um, and it's got a wide variety of different types of gaff cards in here. Um, I believe you can still get this at Penguin Magic, but you literally just search for red gaff pack and uh, it's got a magnet card in here. It's got a rising card. Um, it's got uh, a Hofsteiner card. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. This is um, the Pandemonium Vanishing Deck from Aaron Fisher. A little packet trick that I got when I joined their Conjuring community. And this is also from Conjuring Community. It's a gimmick, it goes along with that. These are Roy Cooper's Spare Elastics. So you need these for Keybite and you need these for Coinbite. So I've got a set of Spare Elastics whenever you know one of those things breaks. This is um, something else that's in this box. So rather than do it twice, I'll just set it aside and do it at the same time. Um, this is the little uh, lanyard thing that goes with uh, ignition. So again, I should probably put it together like that. This is a whiteboard marker that is also magnetic. So this enables you to do uh, impression pad tricks because then whatever the person writes uh, gets magnetized to the uh, revelatory paper down below. These over here, or a set of ESP cards. They're travel size and they're plastic. And the cool thing about it is they're also marked. So plastic, bendable, uh, really easy to use. You can stick these in your wallet. You'll never fold them or bend them. You can stick them in your back pocket and you don't have to put them in a box. Um, they're great because like I said, they're marked, but they're super small and uh, they have a really cool back design. I like dig these a lot. Um, this is the watch or the, it's the reader, it's the e-reader, it's not really a watch. It's the e-reader that goes along with Phil Smith's uh, Nurical deck. And so I just keep this in here just so I don't misplace it. Um, this is Vinny Segu's Word Up, one of my favorite uh, everyday carries. And again, totally plastic. You can keep this in your pocket. You don't even need to put it into anything. Uh, it's always ready to go. It's a cool little word search trick. And that goes with that. So that, is everything that's on the top floor of this. I'm gonna put everything back. And that can go off to the side. Now, we'll see what's in the big box. So right on top is a plastic holder and you can put a deck of cards in here or something else, but there is a Magic Square um, crib right here. And uh, that's a fun magic square to do, easy to do, ready to go at any time. Um, all you need is a pen and a piece of paper. And if you have that little barcode there, you can do a magic square. And it's a great way to carry your deck of cards because then it's a, it's a reason to have the box or you can carry your billets in it, but it gives you a little magic square option. So that's awesome. Uh, got the mask, right? But you know, none of us are wearing masks anymore. But uh, I took these to Magi Fest. I had a whole bunch of them and I gave a ton of them out to people. So Buddy Stein and Michael Beach uh, had this. The mask is probably uh, in there somewhere. Uh, this is a crib I made for a trick. Uh, this is Hole from um, Michael Chatlain. One of my favorite little uh, miracles. Did this over on TikTok and I'll do this as a, you know, I want to blow somebody away with just one thing. Uh, I'll bust that out. Uh, this is kickback. There's a pick, there's a packet trick in here. Um, kickback is an amazing, an amazing, amazing card trick. Um, highly recommended. Uh, what's this? This is mastermind instructions. That's what that is. This is um, an envelope full of envelopes, like literally. <laughs> so whenever I get uh, paper envelopes in a trick, and either uh, don't use them or use them for something else. Um, I've always got a little set of envelopes. So if I ever need envelopes, I have envelopes. Speaking of envelopes, 
the number four envelope from Blake Voigt. Uh, pretty cool trick. And Vanish is another trick I did for TikTok. So uh, Robbie Constantine, it's a great uh, Sharpie Vanish trick. And notice all these are really flat, you know, they're flat. And so I didn't, I didn't want to put these in a binder, you know, or stick them somewhere loose or in a bookshelf. Um, it helps just to have them in this box. So I think storage wise, it works. Um, got a plastic bag full of thread reels. So got some, a boss in there and some others for the covert reel and of course, extra invisible thread. So that's where I keep all my thread. Here is the mask that goes with the box for the mask. Looks just like a regular medical mask, but you can wad it up and stick it into a thumb tip and it vanishes. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is the calendar effect. Was this Rick Lax? This was Penguin Magic. I remember that. So little calendar, uh, it's a horoscope, well, birthday reveal. Uh, again, it's printed on really nice paper and something you can stick in your back pocket. You can do a little mental mystery uh, and uh, you can do a reading with somebody with this. So that was pretty cool. Here's what I was looking for before. So puzzled, Roddy McGee, this is this. So this is one of the tricks I've been practicing uh, to get ready for uh, TikTok. And so I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do it. And, uh, but I also think it's a great little everyday carry. It's a fun puzzle. I uh, really, really, really like that trick. Um, Cognito, I think these are just my instructions. Yep, this is just my instructions for Cognito. That's all this is. It's just my, uh, what, it, what do you call it? The license, the serial code. Didn't, so as not to lose it. This is Sharp Shot from Taiwan Ben. This is a sharp Sharpie marker through pen, through card. Uh, this is just the box because uh, uh, Sharp Shot is actually an everyday carry for me. So it's over in my closet, but I keep the box close. This is a card clip. So I just didn't have any other places to put it. So this will hold a deck of cards and protect it. What else do I got? I got the Zenner ESP testing cards. Uh, Naked ESP, uh, the Michael Skinner's second version of these. So originally, these were one of my favorite ESP decks, but I have now since moved on to his second version. So I keep I keep the first one around, as do I keep a bunch of other ESP decks in here. So um, the Anglo ESP deck is also in here, and um, the I got these ESP cards. The I forgot what these are called. Um, this is another super favorite of mine. And these are super easy to read, by the way. So easy to read. I don't like, like these ESP cards are so easy to read. I don't ever have to go back to the instructions. I can always just look at these and I know exactly uh, what these are. Is there, it's hard for me to say that I have a favorite ESP deck because I, I like all of them. I mean, they're probably, ESP decks are probably some of my favorite marked cards. So I love that back design. And again, such an easy, easy read. All right, in fact, you know what I'll do? I'll just break the deck in half and uh, just shuffle up half the cards. I mean, I already told you they're marked. They're, <laughs> they're marked. I wanna, but I wanna show you like how fast of a read you can get on these, okay? So, um, oh, I should also do it so that I don't tip the card toward the camera, because that'd be dumb. <laughs> I can just go, hey, that's a star. Uh, oh, the first one it, uh, actually is a star. So there's a star. Let me hold them back like this, okay? So the second one is wavy lines. There it is, square, doom, circle, pow, uh, cross, there you go. Circle, circle, star, cross, wavy lines, cross, star, circle, see? Yeah, like that. Not that that's impressive, but I'm just saying, um, I normally have really bad eyesight, and so any small mark uh, is is hard to read sometimes, but the mark on there is super clear and super clean. And so these are uh, Anglo ESP. So those are those are dope. And they pop up. I've got them. Uh, I got all these decks. If you ever if you ever have questions, I have all these decks listed in my ESP videos. So I have a whole bunch of ESP videos where I do top five or or top ten. And I've got another one. So um, this is also. Uh, ESP deck, they're also marked. So these are pretty cool too. I like the marks on this as well. They're a little harder for me because they're way more disguised, but um, 
It's a cool little set of ESP cards. What else do I got? Um, wallet Wallop. I made that. Uh, so this didn't, this came with the wallets. Yeah, yeah. So it's a fun little uh, prediction trick and it's really inexpensive and it comes with these wallets. So I think the only thing you have to do is provide the deck. But uh, go watch the trailer for Wallet Wallop and uh, tell me if you like it because I really like it. That's, and what else? Oh, this is the Theory 11 impression pad, right? I got two of those and the pen that goes with it. See, that's the thing about keeping things in a box is that I can always put the pen that goes with it. Sometimes I always, you know, I'll put the pad down one place and put the pen somewhere else. And then I'm like, ah, where's the pen that goes with that pad? Because somebody used to make a universal pen that goes with all the impression pads. If they did that and sold it, I would buy it. Because then I wouldn't have to worry about which pen goes with which pad. I could just buy one universal pen, make it look like a Sharpie, make it, make it work with all the impression pads. You know, that's probably not even possible, right? But I would still buy it. And I got another set in here. This is the Oracle system from Ben Seidman. So this time not marked ESP cards, but marked tarot cards. It's a little uh, matching game that you can do, but also works for reading. Looks like real magic and great, nice looking tarot cards marked on the back. It's another one of those, you lay one down, I lay one down tricks. Comes in this really great wallet. Um, I loved this when it came out. I still love it. This has definitely held up. Great, great trick. Um, this is, oh, this is a really great everyday carry and it's a soft worker. It's a prediction effect um, where you just, uh, sh I can show you actually, there's cards here, yeah. So they just pick a card, right? They just pick any one of the cards and then there's multiple outs built into the wallet and then you'll be able to show that you knew which, uh, which card they would pick. This is a great everyday carry, I love this one. This is Steel from Rasmus. They're a bunch of um, nails and basically you do this to them, you nail bend them. So they're real, real nails, sharp and metal. They're inspectable beforehand. So uh, it's the only metal bending I do is I do this as part of my metalism act. Um, this is the uh, answer key to uh, the Zoltar trick, the Zoltar card trick. And then I got a big stack of Svengali or Sven pads, right? Big stack of Sven pads. So um, a couple of these are pre-made and then uh, this shopping list one I made. So it's got my own stuff on it. And then the Action Stars one, um, I made that too. So that's my Action Stars Sven pad. And again, things like this, they just work better in a big box, right? They just <laughs> stack, they don't stack very well on a shelf and they don't rest very well side by side. Like when everything's side by side like this, you know, it's hard for me to see like, okay, what is that? But if it's stacked like this, I can, you know, and dig through the box and just find it. The only problem, and I'll, and I'll be totally upfront with you. The only problem with putting it in a box like this is um, out of sight, out of mind. So I don't have a like master key that tells me what's in the box. I'm supposed to just rely on my memory to remember what's in the box. And so sometimes I'll, I'll be looking and I'll say, oh, where's that, where's that ESP deck? Or where's that, uh, where's that wallet? And I'll be like, ah, oh, I don't know. And I'll, I'll search, I'll search my whole uh, closet and I can't find it. And then another day I'll look down at this box and I'll go, oh, I bet it's in that box. So that's the only problem with this box. It's great for storage. It's great for holding everything. But then once it goes in the box, I forget about it. So the tricks that I love, I have in rotation, those are all laid out on a shelf visibly where I can see all of them. Like I can just see all the tricks. So kind of like Batman picking up stuff for his utility belt, I can just go down the shelf and I just go, I need this, 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 and this, and I can go. So sometimes I'll pull things out of this, right? And put them into rotation. But for the most part, they just stay in this box because I love them, I love all these tricks, but they're not tricks I perform all the time, or they used to be, and now they're kind of gone, they're out of rotation, but stuff that's in rotation is on the shelf. So that's everything that's in my toolbox, and literally, I think this box at Walmart was like five bucks. 
five bucks and it solved a, it solved a storage problem for me. And so happy to have it. I actually have another one. <laughs> I have two. So I have another one of these. I got a bigger one and that holds all my uh, Royal Magic. So I keep all my Royal Magic in the boxes that they came in and along with the instructions just because I think it looks nicer and you know, if I had to look for a Royal Magic trick, I could just find it in the box. But storing them in their boxes with their instructions takes up a ton of space. So I actually have a really long one of these uh, to store all of that. Maybe I'll go through that one next and show you my collection of Royal Magic. I'm pretty proud of it. I have a lot of Royal Magic and I like uh, Royal Magic a lot. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. See you next time. Bye.